திருமலை நாயக்கர் பேலஸ் மதுரை இந்தியா பிரசென்டட் பை ஹாலிடேஸ் ஆன் ஷூ ஸ்ட்ரிங்ஸ் த திருமலை நாயக்கர் பேலஸ் இன் மதுரை இந்தியா இஸ் அ ஸ்ட்ரேஞ்ச் கலர்ஃபுல் மிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஸ்டைல்ஸ் த யூரோப்பியன் இன்ஃப்ளூயன்சஸ் இன் இட்ஸ் டிசைன்ஸ் ஆர் ஆப்வியஸ் but it also kept a truly unique indian atmosphere and outlook with its artistic blend of dravidian and islamic styles built in 1635 by king tirumalai nayak who had the vision of creating a masterpiece for royal stay had it designed by an italian architect it was one of the best architectures of ancient times the interior of this palace mesmerizes everyone with its intricate paintings and sculpting the palace has an arcaded octagonal covered by a dome of 60 70 feet high which is held up and supported by stone ribs it makes you wonder if it is islamic influence or the vatican influence paintings on the roof of the palace are worth noticing this palace was declared a national monument immediately after independence the building which we can see today was the main palace in which the king lived the original palace complex was four times bigger than the present structure only what is marked in red is left today in its heyday the palace was considered to be one of the wonders of the south currently only a few parts of the palace remain most of the parts of this magnificent palace were distorted and taken away during various reigns and with changing times king tirumalai nayak's grandson had demolished much of the fine structure and removed most of the jewels and wood carvings in order to build his own palace in tiruchirappalli but his dream of building a grander palace never materialized yet the remnant stands magnificent to narrate the story of the past today all we see is the entrance gate the main hall and the dance hall as you enter the palace through its grand gates you will reach a central courtyard which is about 42000 square feet the motifs on the ceiling range from peacocks parakeets to lions elephants and snakes there are also the mythical yali dragons and beautiful flowers such as the lotus carved exquisitely seashell motifs on the dome and other places draw you to them the south asian styles influence can be seen from the carvings of the dragons it has a total of 248 pillars massive pillars with a height of about 82 feet and a width of almost 19 feet which stand as a mute spectator to the passing of time without losing its grandeur they are so overbearing that we felt like dwarfs so unbelievably large that i asked my friend to hug it to give you an idea The palace was bifurcated into two vast areas called Swarga Vilasam and Ranga Vilasam which consisted of the king's and queen's residences darbars banquets temples theaters with attached gardens and ponds Sadly only the former part remains built with foliated brickwork while the polished texture of the palace came from the use of chunam which is a combination of shell lime and egg white gosh imagine how many eggs were used for building this palace absolutely mind boggling the audience hall in the palace is believed to be the largest hall to be built around that time this is because the nayak kings had more than 70 provinces and had to meet their representatives daily so a huge audience hall was built the little room in this courtyard is superb below it lies a funny chair 
placed mostly to visualize scenes of the king sitting in the light and sound show. The original throne hopefully was more ornate and grand. After the courtyard, we moved to the dancing hall, now turned into a museum, which was also worth exploring. Like other similar kings, King Tirumalai Nayak was a patron of fine arts, as seen from the dancing hall, filled with various sculptures. and paintings. From stone implements to ancient pottery. Stone plaques from all over Tamil Nadu. It was full of ancient wonders to admire. It was sad to see the vandalism with people scribbling their names all over. But that could not diminish the architectural grandeur of this place. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and tell your friends about it.